Uh, we're going to be using the Butterfly Gala Stamp Set and Punch. Now, this is a bundle in our Occasions catalog right now. It is carrying over to the new annual catalog, but it will not be available as a bundle. So you do save 10% if you order it this month versus next month, you're gonna be purchasing the stamp set and the butterfly punch uh, separately. Um, I don't think there's, there's gonna be one other retiring, or uh, one retiring item that I am using today, two items actually. So this is the Twinkle Twinkle pack of paper. I love this pack of paper. Um, and so that's retiring. And then we're going to be using the Needlepoint Nook mini buttons and the paper piercer. Yeah. So I like to give the items that are, that are retiring first so that um, I don't forget that. Okay. So um, this card we're making today is going to be in pool party. But you could also make it using petal pink. I always get that color confused. So I'm going to give you the measurements before we get started. Um, pool party that measures 11 by 4 and a quarter. And I've already scored it at 5 and a half. So that's our card base. The Twinkle Twinkle Designer Series paper is 5 and a quarter by 4. I'm looking at my uh, measurements. And then we've got Pool Party Stitch Circle. This measures two and three eighths. I've already cut that out with the stitch shape framelits. And then another piece that measures four and a quarter by one and a quarter. We've got two pieces of Whisper White that's like three by four. One we're gonna use on a two inch circle punch. And then the other one we're gonna be cut, um, coloring our butterflies or stamping our butterflies. And then another piece of Whisper White that's four by one and that's for the greeting. Okay, so let's get started. Um, there is a lot of stamping. I can't believe that most of the ink came off. When I went upstairs a couple minutes ago, I had Knight of Navy everywhere. So we are using Knight of Navy with Pool Party. And at the end of this, I'm gonna show you the same project um, using Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape, okay? So I'm gonna move the stamp set out. Oh, before we get started, I have some chick candy to announce. Let me grab it really quickly. Okay, so chick candy 23 is two packs of retired designer series paper. This one is uh, everyday enchantment and this one is painted seasons. Um, and where you leave a comment is on today's blog post that is the project for um, my over the moon class packet. So this is box number two. So that's where you leave your comment. And this pack of paper is seriously old. So if any of you guys are new to Stampin' Up, I'm gonna show you really quickly um, some of that paper. This was a pack of paper that I have been saving because I loved it so much. And Oh, goodness gracious, I have so many packs. You, if you guys looked at my blog today, you saw my post. Uh, somebody did ask, why have you been holding on to this paper for so long? I don't know. I was saving it for something special. Uh, so that's that side. And then this is this side. So I believe this was a celebration item umpteen years ago. It was a beautiful pack of paper. Okay, enough about that. Now let's stamp. So this Whisper White layer here is what we're gonna stamp the butterflies on. I'm gonna stamp Knight of Navy. And then the antenna. <clears throat> I, I don't know if you call this the antenna. I have a funny story for y'all. Remember when I told you that I lost a circle framelit like a year ago, maybe even a year and a half ago, and I could never find it? Well, today I was stamping this little part of the butterfly and that thing fell off and oh my gosh, I almost had a heart attack. So as I was trying to find this piece and I was pretty sure I was never gonna find it, I found my circle framelit, which is so crazy because I've moved my office around since then and it just magically appeared. And then five minutes later, I finally found this piece. I went, I was trying to clean it and it fell off the block and went into the floor and we have carpet and anyway, I found my framelit. 
Now I'm shaking. Why am I shaking? Okay, there we go. Uh, I'm going to close this. Well, no, let me go ahead and stamp the greeting. So, thank you so very much. And I'm going to stamp that right in the middle. I love Night of Navy. I don't use it very often, but I love it. I think I think I made my first swap card using Night of Navy a long time ago. Okay, so now we're going to take the wings and the baby butterfly, and we're going to use Pool Party ink. And let's see. I'm going to stamp off. Okay, so I'm going to ink it up and then stamp off and stamp. So that way it gives it just a little faint color and not a lot of color. And then now the baby butterfly. <laughs> Y'all can probably hear Elvis upstairs. He just, he just came down to the kitchen. Okay, I think that's it for now. Now let's cut this out. So I should have stamped that on the other side so that it would be easier to cut out. So if you're gonna make this card, remember to stamp your butterflies on the right side of the cardstock. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so now let's cut out our two inch circle. Lisa, I have found um, one of my framelits, too, under the Stamparatus. I was live one night, and I don't think I ever found it. Okay, let's get all of our pieces back in here. So I'm going to take my liquid glue. There we go. I was fixing to say I wasn't going to be able to get that done. Okay, and then this is going to go down here at the bottom. So same thing, I'm just going to use my liquid glue. I had a, a fun fold card I was going to try to make. And it is just... I don't know. It's not coming to me. I mean, I can master the uh, the fold, but I'm struggling with decorating it, like how to make it look really good. So it's going to get moved down to, to next Wednesday. Hopefully I can pull it off by then. Okay, so now let's um, finish this butterfly part. So I'm going to lie the butterfly flat right about there, that looks good to me. And I'm gonna open up my Knight of Navy ink pad and I'm gonna get, these are the antennas. Yeah, I guess that's what you call them. And stamp. Okay, I'm gonna turn this over and I'm gonna get a mini dimensional. I wonder if I just put my head in the camera. I don't know. Okay, so now this layer is going to get attached. I probably should have went ahead and attached it, but it's okay. I always have to add rhinestones <laughs> and then okay this is gonna go here so we can go ahead and add a couple um, dimensionals to the back 
that's going to go in the center. And then we need, um, where's my buttons? Here we go. So I'm going to take one of these petal pink uh, buttons and add it over there. So I'm going to pick up a glue dot and I'm going to use my paper piercer because I want it to be smaller. So I'm going to pick it up and then kind of wad it up and then place my glue dot right where I want the mini button. And then I'm going to add the mini button on top and then smoosh it. <laughs> now I'm gonna tie a bow. So if you guys have the new thread, um, the linen thread and the twine, it fits perfectly on the paper piercer right inside a chick stand. So it's like a spool. So I, don't, I think I've showed that to you guys before, but just wanna remind you that the paper piercer is also retiring and it doesn't work with the take your pick tool like this. So this will help you keep track of your <laughs> baker's twine and your, um, I gotta stop talking when I tie the bow. There we go, I was messing up. You know, I just remembered that I forgot to, um, I forgot to ask, or I forgot to mention that today is uh, Wednesday, May 15th. Sorry about that. I With all those catalogs going on in my house, my brain is a little um, not normal right now. Until they get out of here, I'm going to be in a state of frazzle. <laughs> David says every time he opens the garage, he's going to, he's afraid that somebody's going to say something. Okay, what am I doing now? Okay, so now I'm gonna add the little baby butterfly also with a mini dimensional. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there is our card. Pretty cute, right? It's a very different um, color for me. So I didn't want my project today to look like all the other projects I've been making for the past couple months, but I'm going to show you this one now. Look how beautiful this one is. I didn't use my bone folder. It lies flat when I use the bone folder. So which do you prefer? You guys know I love monochromatic. That's my go-to thing. But I really like this. Now, couldn't you see this card also using uh, petal pink? Uh, Terry, I always sell chick stands. The chick stand's not retiring. That's my product that I sell. The paper piercer is what's retiring. <laughs> Yeah, the gingham's really pretty, but you know, this is like a, I don't know. I don't know what to say about those colors. Contemporary, right? Okay, I didn't put my head in the camera. Thank you for saying that. Uh, what did we decide? Okay, so Baby Bird, his name is Gizmo. And we, um, he was at the end of my live video on Monday night. He's still very quiet, but he is so tame. He is the sweetest little thing. Okay, let's see. Is there anything I need to remind y'all? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, I think, I think we're good. What time is it? So I accomplished that in 18 minutes. Okay, so the name of this designer series paper is Twinkle Twinkle, and it is retiring this month. And then uh, the name of this paper is Gingham Gala, and it is retiring this month. So I'm, and don't forget that the bundle, the Butterfly Gala uh, bundle, the bundle price will not be available going forward in the new catalog. You will still be able to get the punch and the stamp set, but you save 10% if you get it now. My next live video will be next Monday evening. Is that it? Yep. Okay. So you guys have a great day. Thank you.